one of my biggest things that I hate, one of my biggest pet peeves of any tactical backpack is the fact they do not have hip pockets, hip belt pockets. It drives me crazy that these companies don't spend, what, $2 to put a pocket on the hip belts? Even a company that makes backpacking backpacks with hip belts, their tactical line does not have them. However, I found a company on Amazon that sells them. Um, they seem to be decent quality. It fits right on the belt. It has some tie downs. If you have just the webbing type belt, you probably could sew it into place or something like that. But this one has a little bit wider belts on it. And so it's got two straps that you can tighten down. Um, now I used to buy these these pockets from a company called z packs which makes ultralight gear and i would put them on my packs that didn't have them but they're fifty dollars for two whereas these are like less than ten bucks for two so anyways i have one of these kelty red wing tacticals the 30 liters in both black and olive green and it's not an exact match you can kind of see the difference there but it's pretty close and uh, I think they're going to work out pretty well. Like I said, I will probably go on the back of this and take some needle and thread and sew those into place. Now, what do you use these for? Normal backpackers like long distance hikers, and I've done a couple long distance hikes. Generally, you put some snacks in there so that that way it's right where you get to. You ain't got to take your pack off. You put you a couple of snacks in there. You might have a headlamp in there. You might have your cell phone. You might have a small battery charger. Um, you know, just stuff you need to get to that you want to be able to get to quickly without having to take your backpack off. Um, map and a compass would go great in there. Uh, a Bic lighter, you know, that sort of thing. These are pretty nice size. I believe that they're five by seven. So they're seven inches wide, five inches tall. I believe they'll expand out. I think it's one and a half or two inches thick, but they'll hold quite a bit of gear. Let's see if I can do this one handed, open this up. You know, it's got like a mesh pouch and then the big pocket. So pretty basic on the inside, but that's fine. I don't even honestly know that I would even want this mesh part in there. I might end up taking it out because really I just like to have, um, I just like to have the pocket. Now usually what I do, if I've got electronics in one of these, let me get this closed. So if I put electronics in there, what I do, when I do long distance hikes, usually my camera and my cell phone is in this pocket. But I take it and I put it inside a quart Ziploc bag for like a freezer bag and put it in there. And I even do that with like the Z-Pack Z -pack backpacks that I have and other Kelties and, you know, just other, other packs that I have that I carry around. But the tactical packs, you know, it's just nice to have these, these pockets. If you've never had a backpack that's got those on there and then you get those, you will see how great that makes the pack and how much more usable the pack is. It's generally very light things you have up in there so you don't have to worry about like weight or tossing you forward. Um, I actually keep, I was trying to think what all I keep when I do my long distance hike, it's usually got my cell phone, a small USB battery charger. Um, it's usually got the charging cable, snacks, usually a map, and a uh, Leatherman style CS, which is just a really small multi-tool that has like scissors and a blade and a fingernail file or something like that on it. And that's usually what I keep in the front pockets. Just stuff that you need to get to very quickly and at my headlamp. Because a lot of times when I do long distance hiking, I would be, you know, hiking at night anyway. So just knowing where your headlamp's at and easy to get to without taking your pack off, you know, makes it really nice.
Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. I'll put links in the description for these. Um, I just got them in the mail today. This is the first time I've ever used this brand, but they do look like they're excellent quality. And uh, go check them out on Amazon. They're really cheap. This uh, I think it was less than $10 for two in each collar. So well worth the money, I think.